Okay, let's unpack this. Let's talk about this for a second. Do you have this kind of golfer in your group? They're always the last to hit. They're never ready. When you make the turn on number 10, they're the last one out of the restaurant or the last one to the number 10 tee box. They're so behind, you've all hit. You gotta let the group behind you play through because you're waiting on this guy. You know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about that guy that's always on their cell phone. Everyone's hit and they're still over there chatting on the phone. You know who I'm talking about? Kissy McKissy. Yeah, he's playing kissy, you know, he's playing kissy kissy on the phone. And you're like, come on, we're trying to play here. But he's got to smooth things over at home or whatever the hell he's doing. But it's ruining your day. It's ruining your peaceful time. You're there to bond, camaraderie, have a good time. But Kissy McKissy, he's absent. He's just over there on the phone. Whatever it is, handle it with a text message. I'll say it for the rest of us. Cut that crap out. Do what you got to do. Do it in between shots, but don't hold up the rest of us. And believe it or not, we're out there to enjoy our round with you. We want to have a good time with you. We don't want to watch you playing Kissy McKissy. It wears on us. Just cut it out for a little bit, okay? Three and a half, four hours, that's all we're asking. A few text messages here and there should take care of everything, okay? So just keep it in mind the next time you're out with your group. It's not always about you. Think about the players in your parent. You're disrupting their rhythm, man. Thanks for watching. Remember, cool people play golf. They don't play kissy me kissy. Peace.